John, just coming to you on this one, that third quarter, we saw after the halftime, the Sixers came out, they were motivated, they put up 37 points, they hit six threes in that quarter and just really put the, you know, the foot on the neck of the Raptors. What did you think in, of, of that quarter when you watched it? Yeah, well, it was, we talked about James Harden getting in rocket mode. Uh, we saw that, but I was impressed with Philadelphia's defense. They gave up 17 points in that quarter. Remember, 61 points for Toronto in the first half. They only get 36 in the second half. On top of that, they were getting smashed on the boards. Minus nine was Philly in the first half, plus 19 in the second half on the boards. They were all over them. Defensively, they were great. They were aggressive. Joel Embiid got the ball in the paint. James Harden was James Harden. And Philadelphia looked like the team that Daryl Morey put together when they sent Ben Simmons out and brought James Harden in. You know, they definitely impose, impose their will, but I think Toronto just ran out of gas a little bit. And, you know, when you're down 3-0, your margin of error is so small. They got the first game, okay, a little bit of confidence. They won the second game, two games in a row. But when you're back against the wall, you got to expend so much energy on a night-to-night basis. And I think that second half, they just didn't have anything left. Legs are tired, couldn't make shots. And Philly, for whatever reason, defensively yeah. got after it. And they just they didn't have enough in the tank to kind of to keep that game going. Legs tired combined with the defensive uh, play of the Philadelphia 76ers held the Toronto Raptors to 28% shooting in the second half, including 20% for three. They only shot four for 20 in the second half. So the defense improving, maybe a combination again of the tire legs. Nevertheless, the 